Hello everyone and everyone. welcome to my morning report analysis videos on Wednesday the 27th of March with me which is Premier Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. We've got a fairly mixed outlook today, nothing really doing in terms of direction on the dollar. It certainly seems as though that um, there is still problems going on with uh, yields that uh, yields have actually fallen again this morning to 237 uh, on the 10 year also the two year plummeting to multi month lows as well and that has sort of started to weigh on the dollar this morning the dollar had been ticking higher but now that's uh, given back all those gains um, that uh, you can see here through uh, euro dollars actually trading higher. Sterling dollar was quite um, strongly low, about 30, 40 pips. That's unwound. And also dollar yen is starting to tick lower again. So the dollar is starting to lose some of that impetus that it had overnight. Um, and uh, that has also helped the gold price, for example, to tick higher. Um, there is still a big uncertainty as to the implications of this yield curve inversion that we've seen and um, that is something that um, markets are still trying to grapple with. Um, now in terms of uh, equity markets that uh, those yields falling away have just started to sort of eat away at the, the DAX a little bit. Um, DAX was trading around flat and that's now 20 ticks lower um, FTSE just dropping underneath the flat line as well. Um, so a little bit of risk negative outlook coming through there in the last few minutes. Now we've also got some um, main factor today is Brexit. Um, Brexit uh, runs along to the next stage of um, well the uh, uncertainty really. Um, 16 indicative votes Parliament is going to vote on tonight and uh, uh, indicative options as to uh, what the Parliament could be willing to get behind. Um, so uh, again massive uncertainty surrounding that so sterling is going to be uh, volatile on that one tonight but um at the moment we are still sort of focusing on these bond yields that are falling once more so um in terms of uh, data points today we've got the us data this afternoon current account and the uh, trade balance um us current account is expected to uh, uh, sorry, deteriorate, I should say, it's expected to, to deteriorate to 135 um, billion in terms of deficit, it's not on that Reuters data there, uh, 135 billion um, deficit, and the trade balance deteriorating, to, or sorry, improving very slightly to 57 negative, so deficit 57 billion there. Now the weekly crude stocks also keep an eye on that, expected to see inventory drawdowns across the crude, distillates and gasoline and uh, expect a bit of volatility around that data point at um, 2.30 UK time. Now my chart today is the Sterling Aussie which interestingly Sterling Aussie has been trending positively within this uptrend channel for the past four, um, sort of four months really but drifted lower in the last week and a half, two weeks, uh, as uh, as this seems to be another correction within the down uh, within the uptrend channel. But these momentum indicators coming back to points at which the uh, buyers have tended to come back in. Those MACD lines and stochastics are sort of coming back to to points as well uh, as the RSI around that sort of uh, mid 40s level picking up. And we've got this downtrend intact over the last uh, couple of weeks, but um, certainly the positive reaction candle coming today uh, is sort of coming above the 184 pivot line. Now, I could say 184, but also 184 to basically 185, really, um, which has been a basis of support in the last um, sort of the breakout becoming supportive. Uh, and uh, I think that this is now going to be a, an opportunity to buy this um, sterling Aussie. Now, we've, we've seen the Aussie under pressure a bit today following on from the RBNZ and the Aussie falling in sympathy to that uh, weaker Kiwi. But also, we, we're likely to see uh, the houses, uh, sorry, the uh, UK MPs voting towards a more softer Brexit at uh, some stage. So subsequently, that's likely to drive a more positive sterling. So this little correction on Sterling Aussie is likely to be a good buying opportunity and the technicals back that as well. So uh, you've, you've seen the markets just starting to turn around. If you see it above 186, that would be above yesterday's high. Again, that would sort of break a run of lower highs. Above 186.50 again would be a resistance as is 186.85, which is that latest reaction high. So uh, it looks like there's an improving chart going on here on your, uh, Sterling Aussie.
So I wish you good luck in training today and I'll speak to you later.